Hi guys, this is John from Property Lean Brothers and today we are heading up to Tribeca by the waterfront. And just take a look right there, 50 meters right ahead, that is the entrance towards Havelock MRT Station. And on the flip side, that two building over there signifies where Great World City is. Lots of amenities, lots of convenience for you. Right now, we're heading up to this well-sized 1033 square feet, two bader that is perched on a high floor overlooking this unblocked view. Come with me, let's go. Alright, so now we are actually exploring this area right here. The location is key because of how prime and accessible this entire locale is. So we are along Kim Seng Road and right in front of me, that's where Jack Kim Street is. And if you belong to my era, you'll notice that this is actually where the old Zook is located. So right across, that is where Singapore River will be. Just right downstairs, that's where Havelock MRT Station entrance is located. And at Great World City, that's where the Great World MRT Station is located. So both of them are along the Thompson East Coast Line. And also for the drivers for expressways, we are just a short five minutes drive towards both Central Expressway as well as the AYE. And last but not the least, we are left than five minutes drive to the Orchard Shopping Belt. And right behind me, this is where Singapore River is at. Just notice how quiet, serene and tranquil this entire location is. And just five minutes walk away from where Tribeca is, it will lead you to this very nice jogging path so you can get your daily exercises right at this spot over here. Across at the other side, that is where you can get to Fort Canning Park as well for your recreational activities. And we are also minutes away from Robertson Key, Club Key as well as Boat Key for your dining and food options. And right where we were at, just Right downstairs from Tribeca, we have got multiple bus services that will bring you to Tiong Bahru, Henderson, Orchard as well as Dobi God. In terms of shopping malls, we've got Great World City, Valley Point Shopping Centre, Tiong Bahru Plaza, Concord Shopping Centre as well as Ion Orchard. For schools within 2km, we've got River Valley Primary School, Alexandria Primary School, CHIJ Kellogg as well as St Margaret's Primary. With this, Tribeca is in a very convenient location offering you unparalleled access and convenience to a lot of things over here. And this becomes highly sought after residential address in Singapore. We're just heading up to Tribeca by the waterfront, 29 storeys in total. We're heading up to a somewhat high floor unit. We've got 52 units of 1 bader, 25 units of 2 bader, 47 units of 3 bader, 47 units of 4 bader, as well as 4 units of the penthouse unit. So you notice that for the 2 baders over here, we're making up the least number of percentage in terms of the entire unit mix. And this tells you of the rarity of the 2 bader configuration within this project itself. And without further ado, let's take a look at the unit. Alright, now this is Tribeca by the waterfront located right along Prime District 9 along Kim Seng Road itself developed by CDL. So what we've got over here is this modern high-rise development along with premium finishes and this was completed in 2010 together with 175 residential units in total. Most importantly, this is freehold in nature which means value retention as well as legacy for your future generations. The thing that I really love about this unit over here is this big open unblocked view that grits you. So let's roll some B-rolls of that. Let's start the home tour proper from the entrance foyer. So entering from the door itself, nice entrance foyer. Set it up just like what has been set up currently with a sideboard over here. Right in front of me, this is where the DB box is hidden pretty deep in. And heading further in here, this will be the living space. A very comfortable viewing distance from the three-seater sofa all the way to your TV line. So absolutely blank wall over here. You can put in your 75-inch as well as your 80-inch TV. No issue as well. And a little bit of bay window over here so you can throw in some cushions for your cozy reading corner right here. Moving along, you'll notice is that the width of the living together with the dining space is extremely wide. So what you see over here is another sideboard. If you want to have more storage space, you can potentially build this up all the way to the ceiling. If not, this is the perfect wall for your family photos. And what I really like about this living and dining space over here is that this is a landscape configuration. And a lot of buyers actually prefer that because of the reason that we've got the windows as well as the balcony that lies along adjacent to these spaces, which means that a lot of good natural light will come permit into this internal space and a lot of brightness and over at this corner we have got the dining space so currently the dining table has been tucked towards the wall easily you can sit up to four packs and let's say if you want to host a few more friends or family just pull out the table a little bit more and you can definitely host up to eight persons over here and heading out to this balcony space you'll first notice how windy it is because that is south direction directly facing this will be southwest we are overlooking this empty plot of land right here this is zoned as residential a good thing is that we are of a substantial height level so in terms of the root noise that is 
right down stairs, very, very minimal. Do come down for a physical viewing to have that sense for yourself. There is a water point as well as a power point right by the corner, which also means that you can essentially put in your washer right here, invisible grills for safety. So over here, we've got this outdoor set that have been set up. You can install in zip track blinds for this balcony space. All right, and with that, let's take a look at the kitchen. So right behind me, this is the enclosed kitchen. So you've got sliding doors here that you can actually close up when you're doing heavy cooking. Good thing is that there is also glass for you to keep an eye out on what's happening outside. So the kitchen-wise, more of a rectangular shape. We've got this L-shaped surface top that runs across the kitchen itself. Very, very solid, hardy countertop over here. Bosch, the hood hop, as well as the oven that's stuck right below. We've got storages that runs on top as well as below across the entire kitchen. Dual sink right here, so great for your washing and drying needs. Two panels of ventilation with windows that is great to dispel the fumes if you are doing heavy cooking right here. This is actually the dedicated fridge space and what I really like about this configuration of where the kitchen is in relation to where the dining as well as the living space is that you get this amazing triangle for your perfect hosting needs. Alright, coming in here, this is the common bedroom. We've got timber flooring that runs across the entire room itself. We've got a study table that is parked towards this corner right here. And some bookshelves. The only built-in would be this two-panel wardrobe. We also have got this bay window. So one of the renovation ideas to incorporate this bay window as part of your bedroom setup will be to install this bed decking that goes right on top of this with storage that goes underneath. And you can even put up to a queen-size bed if you want to. And in terms of facing-wise, we are also facing towards this unblocked view right here. And flipping right across, we have got this common bathroom. Color palette is of a neutral cream sort of color. We have got this marble vanity top together with the sink, undermount storage as well as a mirror, the WC and an enclosed shower area. And most importantly, we have got the ventilation window to dispel the moisture after a hot shower. Alright, so welcome into the spacious master bedroom. On my left here, this is the master bath. Extremely luxurious looking with the white marbles that run across the flooring up to the walls itself. So we have got undermount storage as well as the sink, mirrors that run across together with hidden storage right behind the WC as well as a built-in bathtub. Most importantly, we have got these two panels of sliding windows for your ventilation that you actually get this amazing view of that great world city from the master bathroom. Alright, coming into this master bedroom space, this is actually a queen size bed. So if you want to put in a king size bed together with two side tables that is absolutely doable. Only built-ins would be the two large panel of wardrobe space. On my right, this is the blank slate of wall for your creativity. Let's say if you want to put in a feature wall together with a mounted TV right on top over here, that is absolutely doable as well. And most importantly, let's head on out because every morning when you wake up, this amazing unblocked view will welcome you. This gives you a nice mix of indoor as well as outdoor space. Very nice area for you to actually wind down during the evening with a glass of wine perhaps you can deck this up completely and you can also install zip track right over here. And our team at PLB has actually deep dive and research into the pricing numbers within this locale right here. So let's pull up the map. If you're looking for a good size two bed, two bath unit of around 1,000 square feet, freehold unit and high floor along Kim Seng Road. First up, we've got Mirage Tower, size at 958 square feet, freehold in nature, TOP in 1996. This is asking approximately at $2.2 million to $2.35 million, translating to a PSF of around 2,300 PSF. We wear with a size of 818 square feet to 840 square feet. This is a 99 year leasehold project, TOP in 2024, asking at $2.4 million to $2.67 million, translating to 3,000 PSM. A well Hill Residences, the two bedders, their size at 667 square feet. 99 year leasehold as well, TOP in 2024, priced between 1.8 million to 2.15 million. And the asking PSF is about 3,000 to 3,001 PSF. Centennial Suites, two bedders, their size at 1,238 square feet. Freehold in nature, TOP in 2013, the asking price is 3.7 million, 3,069 PSF. The Trillium, the two bedroom plus study, their size at 1,399 square feet. Freehold in nature, TOP in 2010, is asking approximately $4.2 million, 3,000 PSF. And at the time of shoot, this will be the only two-bedder unit that will be listed. And this freehold unit here completed in 2010, size at 1,033 square feet. Freehold in nature is asking at $2.9 million, which means a PSF of 2,800. So on top of the two residential plots that are zoned right downstairs over here, the Zion Road GLS site. So this is the first GLS to actually pilot a long-stay service apartment. And this was successfully bidded by CDL at Mitsui Fudusan. So plans for this development is to feature two blocks with 740 
residential units for sale, a retail podium as well as a 35-storey block offering around 290 rental apartment units. Zion Root Plot B is zoned for purely residential use and is expected to house about 610 units. As of now, the tender has not been closed yet. But with all these new developments as well as rejuvenation that's happening around this area, you'll definitely have a lot more eyeballs that's looking within this area itself. New GLS sites are also strictly just 99 years leasehold in nature and those when launched will definitely set a new pricing benchmarks along in this entire area. For the full facilities at Tribeca, by the waterfront, we've got swimming pool, jacuzzi, barbecue pits, the gymnasium, tennis court, playground, clubhouse as well as the function room. There is also the 24-hour security services as well as a basement car park. Alright, thank you for staying with us till the end of this home tour. So if you're in the market looking for a prime District 9 property, two bedroom amazingly sized at 1033 square feet, that is offering unparalleled accessibility as well as convenience because you're just stuck right between two MRT stations, Havelock as well as Great Wall City. This is at $2.9 million. If you want to have a look at this home itself, do give our listings team a call right below. We are also on social media, the YouTube, Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok. Do like and subscribe to our content right there. And last but not not least, my name is John Lin, Property Lin Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Appliances, the hood hop as well as the microwave oven that is, sorry. And with this, Tribeca is in a very strategically located... I'm <laughs> sorry bro. Okay, let's just, just, just let, let, let me find the right side. So what they have gotten over here is also another sideboard over here. So what they have gotten, and heading out to this balcony space right here, we have got this Windy, windy. <laughs> this is... So if you're interested to take a look at this property itself, do. If you're interested to keep. <laughs>